What's good guys? Today I want to share with you a little quick snap money play out of the trips tied in formation. Something that you can use. You only need one hot route to be able to run this. What's cool about it is it's going to kind of imitate the mesh or the double post out of bunch. And it's just a very good quick snap concept. Now if you're new to the channel, I want to ask that you hit the subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel. Also, I want to let you know that if you want to get my full trips tied in offensive guide, it's all available in the Patreon, as are all of my Madden guides. What's cool about the Patreon is you sign up for just $10 a month and you get access to everything. All 15 offensive and defensive ebooks that I've released this year, you get access to all the updates for those guides as I release them. We typically release two to three updates a week in there, kind of tweaking the guides and making them better. Uh, based on the current meta and then you also will get an immediate access to any new ebooks that we release uh, while your subscription is active so uh, again it's ten dollars a month you can cancel whatever you'd like but as long as you're a member you literally get access to everything so if you want to sign up for that there's a link in the description below now the defense or the uh, the concept we're going to show in this video is to play curl flat and this is a setup that's an oldie but a goodie very effective very simple. All we're going to do is we're going to come out and curl flat. And uh, we're just going to drag the inside slot. That's it. Snap the ball. And the idea with this is we want it to run very, very fast. We want it to be a quick snap, quick hike setup. We want tempo with this. This is a great play. Um, you could, if you, in, in theory, you could smart route the corner and then do this. That's just, you know, in this year's game, it's not as important to smart route the corner. But you can do that. What you'll notice is this corner route is actually really underrated because if you have Gunslinger or if you have Pass Lead Elite, what you can do in this year's game that you couldn't do in years past, and this is part of why defense is honestly so bad, is you can actually go ahead and cut this off um, and aggressive catch it with a high degree of consistency. So you see there's my setup. Snap the ball. Watch this third. There's no pull route on it, but I can still cut this off an aggressive catch right in front of him. And that animation is very consistent. I've, I've gotten that animation against the top players in the, in the world. It's very, very good against cover uh, three. It's also going to be good against cover four. So, again, he's just going to go. You're outside pass leading it. It's wide open. So, the point is you can throw that corner route pretty much against anything. It's actually a very good corner route. Um, it's better than we might have originally thought in this year's game. Let me show it to you again here. Um, this is uh, cover two. You'll see pass lead to the outside. And this is where pass lead, lead, and gunslinger allow you to hit windows, what you wouldn't normally hit um, if you weren't a, if you weren't one of those type of quarterbacks, okay, as you can see right there. Now, another defensive approach that you're going to start to see, especially if you start to run this a lot, is they're going to run some man on you because they want the hard flats to be able to kind of contain these meshing routes and then they're going to use or the running back route. Well, if that's the case, again, this right here, um, this that's the one area where this quarter route is not as good, and that is man-to-man. -man. Now, I will say um, you can actually fix that if you have a tight end apprentice and you just put him on a hot route and corner route. However, it's not as good against zone, and it's really not. It's going to require you to have more hot routes than we want you to have on this play. We want you to just be able to snap the ball and go. Now, sometimes he'll just absolutely roast him, so it's kind of a read. It's one of those things where if he's open, throw it. If he's not, don't. Um, but really, that's where your first read is. It's basically mesh corner, if you will, in terms of the way that it's practically going to play out, in terms of where the routes are going to get to on the field. Um, it's just real quick snap play. Um, you can low ball this, as you can see. So, like, it's, and, and another little thing, little tidbit um, about the way people play defense in this year's game, you're going to get a lot of shade. If they're going to run man, they're likely to shade their coverage up. So, if they're shading their coverage up, um, a lot of times you can cut this off, but if you get that right there, you might want to low ball that, okay? And, and as you can see, it's just one of those things where you're going to have to put some reps in. Um, obviously, Zach Ertz going against J.C. Jackson, a little bit of a mismatch. J.C. Jackson's obviously the better corner. Um, Zach Ertz doesn't have the route running that some of your tight ends and Mutt will. So that's just something to kind of be aware of. You can, again, low ball that, but again, it's a situational throw. If he's on top of the route, then you want to low ball it. If he's underneath the route, then you want to, um, then you then you don't want to low ball it. You just want to throw it to the outside. So again, I'll show it one more time here. So you see here, he's on top of the route, so I'm going to low ball it, and you see how I can kind of get a little back shoulder type of catch. So that's just something that you've got to put the reps in to, to hit. To be honest with you, if he doesn't get a win animation, I typically don't throw the route. Um, I typically don't throw the route. This is a great uh, concept 
if they are Mabel coveraging. Why? Because the whole middle of the field is going to be open. So you basically just pick who does the user pick to guard. Oftentimes he's going to pick the drag. And as you can see, that running back is going to, is going to get wide open. Now let's say, for example, that the user picks the running back. Well, this is, again, why I love this concept. So um, let me set up a Mabel play. Uh, Mabel is, is again, just simply double flat, right? They're going to – that's the way Madden – it's not the technical – it's not technically Mabel in terms of the traditional sense of the word in the NFL, but it is Mabel in terms of how um, people say it is in Madden. So, anyways, your drag is open right there. Another thing that you're going to get a lot, especially in this year's game with the way people are playing – a lot of people um, are running like 30-yard clouds on this side of the field, on the right side of the field here, so something like a Tampa 2. And the cool part about this concept is it gives you a high-low on both outsides, just like double post, and then also gives you the mesh over the middle. So you have kind of a multifaceted route that you can hit kind of right there and get you about you know five to seven yards um, you know, when the defense isn't even expecting it. Now, the best part about curl flat, the most slept-on part about curl flat is this back side. Most people don't Mabel to the trip side, and what you'll see is that curl will absolutely crucify 90% of the coverages. Real quick, how do you throw a curl route against man-to-man? -man? Um, if you don't know, here's how. You're going to low ball the curl, um, and then most importantly, you're going to click on the receiver. So I click on, I'm coming back and aggressive catching it, and you see I get that dive catch animation. So I just want to like try to make sure there's no possible way for me to get intercepted. And this is one of those concepts. It's very good. You can run this in regs. You can run this in mutt. It does not matter. And you're going to beat every coverage. you got the little mesh over the middle of the field. Um, if you can get really good at reading this mesh, this is going to be a really, really good concept for you um, because you're going to be able to literally just work the ball up and down the field against anything. It doesn't matter. Don't forget about that curl. Now that's your Honestly, that's your last read. So you really what you want to do is you want to go corner route, you want to go corner route to uh, running back route to drag route to curl flat, okay? The curl flat's more of a check down. But, but anyways, guys, that's curl flat, real simple. Um, I showed it against cover three, cover two, cover four. Uh, let me show you lastly against match. Match does decent against this, but curls absolutely are one of the most underrated things that kill match. And then this little drag will kill match as well. So very, very good play against any defense. The cool part about it is if you're in a no-huddle situation, you can audible to this and literally snap it like that. So very fast, little quick snap play out of curl flat. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get more Madden tips, make sure that you join our Patreon. That's where you get all of my eBooks. Um, and the cool part about it is you get everything for 10 bucks. It's literally you get all inclusive membership for $10 a month and you can cancel that whenever you would like to. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to sign up for our Patreon membership, there's a link in the description below where you can do that for just $10.